What's going on guys? We decided to head back up north once again. We're up here in Westminster. It's about an hour and 45 minutes from San Diego. We decided to come over to the Cypress College swap meet. We just drove by. It looks like there are a ton of vendors. It's packed. We had to park down a ways in the residential because there's not even parking in the free parking lot. So let's go see what kind of stuff we can find. I guess it's just free, huh? Not today. I don't think I've ever seen this before. How much are the games? Eight each. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. What do you have on the bags? Ten. Huh? You do five? Five? There you are. Thank you. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. sold out. oh, that's sold already? <laughs> gotcha. We have on the two cups. Huh? Oh, two for five is fine. Hey, I'm surprised that Indiana Jones is still there. Dude, that thing's dope as Yeah, that is pretty sweet. Give me three for five. Take Indiana Jones before it gets broken, dog. That three for five? Need some respect. You won't do a dollar a piece? All right, now. What's this one? Do you have anything to wrap them um, in? Yeah, there should be paper um, here. I'm just uh, afraid I'm gonna break them. Was it three for four? What's that? It's a three for five. Three man. for five? I mean, that Indiana Jones is like a $10 cup. You're already scoring. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Let me see, I'll wrap them up. They just look funky out. Do you know anything about them? What's that? Do you know anything about the cups? Yeah, you got it like it in and out in the 80s. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like a promotion. How'd you come up with it? Oh, it's storage. Too. Yeah, there you go. Do you have a bag by chance? Oh, uh, yeah, right here. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Thank you, brother. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. How much are the hats? Five. But I tried, didn't I? All right, 
so we just got back from the drive up north. As you guys saw in the video, that place was absolutely massive. I don't even know if I totally covered every single row, but we did find some really cool stuff. The first thing that I found was this vintage um, Mario backpack. You know, it says Nintendo on it. I think maybe this was a carrying case for a Game Boy or something like that back in the day. Um, the guy originally wanted $10 for this. As I walked away, he then offered me eight. I ended up getting it for five. I could probably list this anywhere between 30 and 35 dollars so this is going to be a good return and the only other thing that we got were these three really cool glasses the guy offered these two to me for five dollars originally then he threw in the indiana jones glass last minutes at three for five Whoa. i wasn't super interested in the glasses so for two of them i think if i can put them up for 15 bucks and next was this Indiana Jones Temple of Doom glass. What's really cool about this that you can probably see on the back is it says seven up in and out burger. Not sure what that means, but maybe this was some kind of promotion for Indiana Jones with in and out. It's in really great condition. I mean, it's absolutely spotless, but when I looked up the Lakers glasses, I also looked this up and this alone was going for $35. So after that, I decided to take the gamble, spend $5 on all of them, and we'll see what kind of return we can get. Next thing I wanna go over is a couple items that I sold. So the first thing that I sold were these three Wii controllers, and those came with we Mario Kart almost forgot that so these were sold as a bundle for $30 next thing that we sold that I actually just got yesterday are these one up bike pedals if you remember I got this with a neck brace do these two for 10 uh, both of those were $10 so this thing sold for 21 plus shipping so I made my $10 back that I spent on this and the neck brace plus an additional $11 so that's fantastic and the next thing that I sold was also from yesterday was this R15 Three Wood Rescue Club, Tailor Made Rescue Club. I picked this up along with a wedge, $20 total. This club alone just sold for $60 plus shipping. And finally, the last thing that I sold was this Old Base Seasonings hat. If you remember this one from a couple episodes ago when I went down to the South Bay, the guy wanted $3 for this item. I got this for $2, it sold for 15 plus shipping. So I'm going to pack all of this stuff up, get it off in the mail tomorrow. It's gonna to be a real good start to Monday, the beginning of the week. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment below, and turn on your notifications so you know when I post my next video. I got some really awesome episodes coming up. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.